Hi, I'm Patty. I'm Kim Michelle. And I'm Jill. Welcome to our podcast. It's a great day to talk. Because honestly, what day isn't a great day to talk? So join us in our conversation. A Great Day to Talk is brought to you by St. George Design. Offering complete website design, social media management, search engine optimization, Google and Facebook ad management, and many other digital and print marketing services. StGeorgeDesign.com And by Richardson Brothers Custom Homes, third generation builders who have been building custom homes in southern Utah for over 25 years. They will take your dream home from concept to completion. Contact RichardsonBrothers.com We're we here are. somewhere. We are. We are here. <laughs> it's pre-Halloween. We're in a total blackout screen. <laughs> that was so funny. That was. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello. How are you, my dear friend? Oh, I'm good. I've missed you, honey. I missed you. Yeah. I missed all y'alls um, while I was away for, oh my gosh, Two it seems weeks. like forever. Why am I gone at, on these two week stints? It's yeah. Why? Why? Uh, why? Why? Well, this one was nuts. Before, I mean, planning for Maine. I mean, yeah. that is a thing. But yeah, this one was nuts. I didn't anticipate being gone. Well, I didn't anticipate being gone two weeks ago. I did know I was flying on a plane right last week. But I'm glad you said a plane, a plane versus just flying on like a <laughs> broom for Halloween. Well, some of my students would say that's probably true. Right. But they'd be wrong <laughs> no, in that instant. In that moment. Just mm -hmm. in that in yeah. that particular yeah. situation. Right. No, it, I'm telling you what. And then you know this, KM, and Patty knows this. End of the quarter. Crazy. Kicked the trash of many of us. Yeah. And mm -hmm. because I was leaving and I had to get all the stuff done, I was at school on that Wednesday night yeah. until 12.40 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. I did not leave. I was at school. So anybody who thinks that school teachers get their summers off, I'm just going to um, let you know that the days like that and the overtime like that pretty much covers all of the summer. Yeah, we're just sleeping. We're just sleeping through the to summer. Catch up. That's that's all this happening. That's like the hibernation. It's, yeah, it is. It's hibernation. Post hibernation. It's, te it's teacher. We just you just don't call us bears, oh. but well, some of you probably do actually. <laughs> but <laughs> it's the same process. Yes, <laughs> we're hiding our nuts away and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and then we just go in a cave and, and sleep. sleep. Yeah, and please don't mm -hmm. touch me or talk to me, or I'm gonna right. Eat don't you. touch us for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so glad to be back. I am so happy yeah. to see you, um, Sean. I'm happy to see you as well good to see you too hey <laughs> thank you and i'd like to welcome our um patty too here on the desk mm. in front of us yeah today. she might not appreciate that but oh but there it's you adorable go. it's yeah. adorable look how cute yeah we'll post a picture for those of you who aren't with us um on video or live so that you can see this adorable witch that my husband, Scott, artist, yes, he has really had an opportunity to do some physical healing. And in that process, he has really mastered, he's always loved to paint, but he's really taken on some ceramics and he's got such a wonderful eye for it. And he crafted this for <laughs> Halloween, which we love 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 Please. at our house go see and, the pulling uh, house yeah Halloween. so uh he, this is our centerpiece for our show today and he assures me that it was not designed after me <laughs> <laughs> well even if it was it's adorable so, i know because look mean, at that hip hanging out there i mean that's a serious that hip action that's yeah really, right there mm -hmm. right yep so we're going to name her hmm we should take some um, advice from the um, audience. Yeah. Dear so friends. send your messages on in. Is it Patty too? Is oh, I don't think Giselda? Patty would like that. Why though? It's so cute. It is adorable. It's That's true. Cute. And it kind of has her hair color, but just as her dress. Right. Yeah. Just yeah. as her dress. I'm like, wait a minute. The gray. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 
Yes, it is very. It's, it's way so cute, cute, isn't it? Thanks, yes. Di. Princess mm-hmm. Di. Yeah. Mentions how cute it yeah. is. Yeah. Way uh, cute. Let me tell you about Princess Di. She and I have known each other since. I was 21-ish. And oh, she was so just like a couple of years. Just a couple of years. Mm-hmm. And she was just a teeny tiny bit older than me. Teeny tiny. And it was so funny because we worked at the attorney general's office together. And she could not stand me. How I, is that possible? Well, because, you know, I mean, I don't know. But I was super intimidated by her. But the second we started talking... We fell in love. You never stopped talking. Well, we, okay, well, let's be honest. The last couple of years, couple of years, let's be honest, Hyundai, since I've been raising kids, um, she lives up north. But when we keep in touch, like, through our little social media and stuff, it's like we just, we still know and love and pick up and all that. Right, Di? It's true. She's like, who are you? Mm. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. I'm on here because Kim Michelle's on here. That's so true. Yeah, who are you, Jill? <laughs> but she's Princess Di. And my sweet, beloved mummy, who has since moved to another plane, yeah. um, loved Di. And um, Di was always Princess Di to yeah. my mom. So. Oh, well, that's lovely. Yeah, we well, love welcome. her. We love her. So anyway, yeah, so... Um, it's just you and I today, Kay. It is because Patty, Patty One, is um, <laughs> she is off to help with her daughter. Yep, and uh, kind of love on her and make sure that she is well. Yep. So she's headed up north. So uh, she eventually, we're all three of us going to be back <laughs> on the podcast together. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say it'll be next week. It's gonna be next. Yeah, week. it's gonna be next week. Which for is totally great. absolute. Dang sure. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. So mm-hmm. Patty gets to spend the weekend with her daughters. She yep. gets to spend the weekend with her sweetheart. Her, her, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is her teeny tiny boyfriend. Yeah. And mm-hmm. baby Owen is adorable. Yeah. So, adorable. Anyway, Patty, wherever you are along I-15 heading yep. north. Travel safe. Safe. We love you. And uh, the witch is not named after you, but. Well, kind of. Pat, I, I say it is, but that's not in a mean yeah. way. Yeah, in a loving way because she is adorable. She is. Mm-hmm. So she has magic, and you have magic. So that's right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So Cam, how have you been? I've been good. That was hesitation. I know because I'm still recuperating from the end of the quarter, and that was that's been like a week and a half. But I'm telling you, I need. So we. Um, had fall break that whole time but that whole entire time i was just she was um, grading grading papers because i forgot that that's why i left teaching (laughs) (laughs) and uh i really had a very quick reminder and so anyway um a quick reminder or a week long reminder well i was reminded every day every moment of every day so a moment is quick so Days. Yeah. And days mm-hmm. and days and days. So I really need a break. When are you and Scott going to well, take we, one? We get to figure that out, don't we, sweetheart? So um, we do really get to figure that out. Yes. But other than that, uh, the jazz are playing again. So You're we're happy. very, very happy about that. Anybody who's followed me at all knows that um, I just love the Utah jazz and they look so good. And even Shaq had to say that they're a really good team for and so for him that is like high praise okay but wait they may be a really good team but what jill jill be uh, mindful uh, jill be very very careful here my dear friend (laughs) nothing so go ahead at the end of the Mm -hmm. season when they hit the playoffs they're going to make it all the way this time Yes, yes, they are. Yes. Yes. Look, see, she is my dear friend. Yep. No shaking yeah. of your head, Sean. Mm-hmm. No shaking of your head. Mm-hmm. I have to say, you know, oh, I, oh, wait. Scott, listen. He said I could name her after my great great grandmother, because um, there's a story about yeah, her. Yeah, because uh, my great great grandmother actually yours or Scott's? Mine. Okay. Mm-hmm, oh, is Kim Rebecca Michelle Nurse? <gasps> Oh yes. my gosh! Okay, my kids, my yes. students, were in Act Four, The Crucible mm-hmm. by Arthur Miller. For yes. any of you that are wondering wh- who Rebecca Nurse is, yeah, or part of, and that 
Rebecca Nurse. Yeah, that Rebecca Nurse. Is, uh, if you have not read this story, folks, you need to read this story by Arthur Miller. Yeah. Especially this time of year. It's yeah. about the Salem witch trials, folks. This is set during 19, or 19, 1692. Well, it could be 19 something, or it could, or it could be, be 20, this year. 21. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> but it is set in Salem, Massachusetts. Mm hmm. Um, 1692. Yep. It was written by Arthur Miller in 1954. Yep. He wrote it in protest against the McCarthy hearings, yep. which were the nutty uh, current at that time witch hunt against yep. anyone who Red had scare. any kind of yep. uh, suspicion not true. Not or true. true. Neighbor reporting against neighbor. Yep. Pointing yep. fingers, pointing yep. fingers before mm -hmm. your, someone pointed a finger at you. Yep, exactly. He was actually arrested for writing this. Yep. Can you imagine? I, just, I, I, well, mean, I, I can just, now in this, when I taught it before, right. I really couldn't. Mm -hmm. In this climate, yes. It's totally different, it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah. I tell my students that, like you just mentioned, from when we first became involved reading and teaching this, and each year how the transi transition has happened yeah. in relation to, you know, contemporary experiences yeah. is shocking. Yeah, it really is. And so, anyway, Rebecca Nurse. Rebecca Nurse. Mm -hmm. Love that. We're going to need to Salem get Witch Hunts. Not that I'm a witch. No. That's not what Scott's implying here in <laughs> any way, shape, or form. Well, if we had to name her after Rebecca Nurse... That would be someone from that time period in that yeah. story that I would definitely agree with giving a name to. Because Rebecca Nurse was fantastic. Yeah, she is. She's a warrior princess. A warrior princess. Yeah, in that play. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yep. anyway. Sorry, I no, interrupted well, you. Well, I don't know. Where, where and what? Um, hmm, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We were talking about Patty going up Patty north. Patty going up north, spending mm -hmm. time with the kids. Yep. And we're here, and we had a crazy, craziness. Yep. And, and then your trip. My trip. Just talk about oh. your trip. Because this whole show really is about. Yeah, let's talk about our show. Yeah, let's do. Let's our talk about. The this theme really is about just creating memories. Because that's everything that's happening here. Right? That's Patty going up and being with her family up there and taking care of her girls. You have been gone uh, and creating those fabulous memories in um, New York. So it, and we're coming up on the Halloween season this weekend. Well, we're in the season, right. but actual Halloween this weekend, which is a huge, we love Halloween at our home, in our home. And so it really is finding those moments and taking advantage of them to create those memories with your friends and with your family because that's really in the chaos of everything else like the chaos of school and right. all of that kind of thing it is those memories that really keep you grounding going. Yeah. yeah and it really is what makes all the other stuff worth it it's agreed yeah it's agreed it's agreed yeah um so what would you like to know i want to know all of oh. it Mm -hmm. So, okay, we'll just start from the quick beginning timeline. Um, we were going to New York. We as you we and. as in my boyfriend, Judd, mm -hmm. a.k.a. also known as my husband. And um, we our, our purpose for going there was to go to the wedding of Mike, who is my firstborn son, but born from another mother. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so my dear sweet friend Katie. Yeah. That um I knew and became family members with when I lived in New York. Her kids were my kids. I was never going to have kids. And so Kate had Michael and Alyssa and they for all intents and purposes were my children. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And I've known them since um Louie otherwise known as her given name is Alyssa, but she was going on four. Mike was going on seven. Mm -hmm. Mike's now 35. Wow. And is this his And this is his first, first marriage. marriage. And he and his sweet fiance asked me to officiate. Yes, that's so exciting. So I was so honored that they asked that. 
And it's kind of fun because I also officiated Alyssa and her sweetheart's wedding. That's so sweet. And that was awesome. And, well, I also spoke at Kate's funeral. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, huh, I've done the trifecta. So yeah. I love them. I love them all so much. So it was Michael and Tila's wedding. We went to Aurora, New York, which is a village on the Cayuga Lake, which is one of the Finger Lakes. Mm. And it was incredible. Yeah. Were the leaves beautiful. amazing? Mm-hmm. Had they turned? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were oh. really actually towards their tail end. There were a lot of green left, but the real vibrant ones yeah. had already done oh. their time. But it was so beautiful. And they were beautiful. And it was so wonderful to be together with everybody. Um you know, the last time we were all together like that was Kate's funeral. Yeah. And so to be together in this happy space, Mm -hmm. in this beautiful environment was just fantastic. Yeah. You know, and they, unfortunately, last year, they were supposed to get married this time last year, but the COVID um, shut all of that down. So the COVID, the because we're we're of that generation, we are of that generation. Yep. We it's saw now it on the Facebook and on the <laughs> Instagram. We read about the, the COVID. COVID. Mm-hmm. The COVID is now a noun, a verb, and an adjective. That's correct. So <laughs> you can use it in any of those forms, of those and forms. every English teacher will accept it as such. Exactly. Exactly. So anyway, it was. It was a fantastic celebration for all the reasons. And we just had so much fun. And it was beautiful. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Created so many memories together. So and many memories. Built off of your last set of memories, yep. right? But yep. a whole new energy. And oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I love and that so much. Such a beautiful part of that family, about us as a family. Yeah. Is that we just pick up where we left off. Yeah. So it's great. So Judd and I decided that we were going to tack on a couple of extra days and um, spend it in the city. And it was so great. Both of us moved to St. George from New York. I, Which is so weird isn't in it and weird? of itself. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, uh, as you know, met in the produce section at Harmon's. And we had both been here for nearly two years by the time we met. So... It w- it's always so much fun to go back to New York with Judd. Oh, I thought you were going to say go back to Harmon's. Go back. Well, we do that like about three <laughs> times a week. So <laughs> at least three times a week. Well, maybe Judd goes three times a week. He's so good at going. But yeah, we met there and we got engaged there and we're all oh, the cheese so balls around the Harmon's. So anyway, um, so it was so much fun to be able to be in the city with just the two of us. Yeah. And when I lived there, I was upstate. So he is the one that is the expert on the city, and it's great traveling there with him. Although we haven't been there since Max was probably four. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Oh, my gosh. That's a long time for the two of you to be alone back in the city. Oh, for Uh, sure. Yeah. I love that city. It is so great. And, you know, I mean, we've been back to... Rochester, but I and I've been back a lot, but just the two of but us together, in the city yeah. with just that was so fantastic. It was so fantastic. We had so much fun. We did all the things that you did everything. We did. We got a little bit of everything in. You did. I we mean, did. I saw your posting and everything you were doing, and I was mm. like, holy schmack. Yeah, that's what you do when you know you're going to have a seven hour travel day on the mm-hmm. way home and you know you're gonna sleep on the plane yeah exactly yeah but we saw to kill a mockingbird Ugh. with jeff daniels Ugh. and any of you that have not either read that or seen that production yeah. and i don't mean just necessarily the on broadway production but the black and white movie yeah it is a story that we should all watch we should all see Mm-hmm. And I love it, and I love that our students um, get to read that piece. It gives so much, um, so so much meaning to the world word of being a human. Yeah, absolutely. And, and a little known fact, Miss Jill. Yes, ma'am. Um, in high school, I actually played the role of 
Calpurnia. You did not. I did too. You were Calpurnia? I was. And what? I'm sure I would be called out today. Well, cause, because I was in full costume. Well, sure, but and but I wasn't doing it in any way, shape, or form disrespectfully. to disrespect. I was totally doing it to be completely immersed in the role. Right, and it was just such. I want to so see fabulous. a video of that. It was fabulous. That's so amazing. Mm-hmm. If any of you don't know Calpurnia, then you're going to have to read the book. Yeah. By Mm -hmm. our great author, um, Harper Lee. Yeah. Who I just have finished listening to um, a book about her called The Furious Final Courtroom Drama of Harper Lee. I'm sure I got the title wrong, but it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, It's really, really good. It is. I mean, it is. It it just is. an experience in and of itself and every human yeah should experience it yeah mm-hmm. we're getting all english teacher i although no 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 no, 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 this, no, is no. Just human. This, this is just human this is human this is just human yeah. this human is just to human book, yeah book reading mm-hmm. this is just storytelling yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so we made the it was just beautiful we made these amazing memories we spent the day in central park Aww. we had Five o'clock somewhere, Tavern on the Green, oh. which was amazing and beautiful. I'm using the word amazing far too much. I think I could come up with other words. Awesome. That's awesome. what all yeah, our kids the would other say. Word, awesome. Awesome. Yep. And we went to this fantastic jazz club the first night. And little known fact uh, for people from Utah traveling in New York City, you have to carry your um, immunization, immunization card. card all over the place and I had looked on the website for the jazz club to see if we needed anything it didn't say anything but we got to the door and they said mm, sorry you can't come in you have to have your card so we had to take a taxi back to our hotel grab that come back made it in time and we learned that you just keep your vaccine card with you all the time yeah but what I appreciated being in New York City people were so respectful yeah of of taking care of each other, of wearing masks, of there was no fussing, fighting, anything. It was clearly an element of this is what we're going to do. We've had this horrible experience. You know, New York City was hit harsh, so hard, harsh, yeah. harsh, harshly. Um, and everybody was, uh, t- people talked about it all over the place, how grateful they were to be together with people again. Yeah. And so, I just think we miss human connection mm-hmm. so deeply yep. that whatever we can do to be able to create that again in a, in a healthy way, I think is just yeah. amazing. Yeah. And it was, it was so fantastic. We oh. just had memories. We've made all these. Yeah. You went to a baseball. Oh, you went actually to one of the baseball games. We did you? Go? No, we didn't. But Mike, Alyssa's husband, who's with the Red Sox, um, he was in the middle of the wild card series and you know, he popped Sox, in and he, yeah, they got back from one of the games in Houston. They had, canceled the next day practice and so mike drove for six and a half hours to surprise Alyssa and the girls um and what does he do with that franchise he is the guy that sits behind the camera and watches the pitches come across oh yeah he yeah yeah he's lottie da pretty dang good at what he does Mm -hmm. he was in the bullpen he was a bullpen catcher for years and this is what he does now so well, I just, you know, Memories. Scott whisked me away mm-hmm. one um, Christmas season, and I didn't know exactly where we were going, and that's where he surprised oh, me. And so we City. spent New York City, the two of us, uh, we spent Christmas time-ish, it was right before Christmas, in New York City, and did all of the... Typical tourist Touristy things. things. Um, That's so fantastic. Yeah, we saw the Rockettes Christmas oh. show and went to the rink, where, and they had all oh, the little skaters. Christmas villages all set up around there. And, oh, my gosh, it was just amazing. What about your memories of that? I can't tell that you're a little bit excited and that you I, remember stuff I from that. I absolutely do. It was yeah. just, it was such a fabulous, fabulous trip and it's not the only one right you know he's worked to create that 
every year to take me someplace I haven't been around the holiday season. So thank you, honey, if I haven't ever said that before. <laughs> I hope I have, but if I haven't. Just such a spe special, special treat. Right. Yeah. You know, that's one of the things that I love about experiences, whether they're with a significant other, whether they are with ourselves only, whether they're with friends or yeah. family, but the concept and the idea of creating moments that we remember years later that snap yeah. in our head, you know, I just am so appreciative. Someone said to me, this has been decades ago, they said, um, you know, coffins don't have pockets. And I thought, well, of course, obvious, duh. And, you know, you could take that a couple of ways. One of them is, well, you know, if you're spending lots of money, you're not going to have what you need later. Another one is that create the memories mm -hmm. right now instead of waiting to create the memories later mm -hmm. because you'll have a lifetime of memories. And that's really how... I, in my early 20s, after my first divorce, I really made an intention around doing and created lots of great memories with lots, oh, well, with Di, for example, with Diane, you know, the memories that I have of the time, the years that we spent doing things, road tripping and going on cruise and, and all the, you know, we worked together at the attorney general's office and going to her cabin and spending time at her house and her best popcorn that she would make. I mean, those kinds of experiences and memories yeah. are priceless. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're so creating another one this weekend. This weekend. Yeah. Yeah. We have not, you know, we've not gone on um trips together very often when we take lots of trips with the boys yeah um mostly hockey up north to yeah. <laughs> play yeah to uh -huh. them to play their games yeah. but yeah we're doing a second one and i'm i'm so excited to create more memories based on experience mm -hmm. instead of objects yeah yeah so i love that yeah yeah now one thing i know that you in your house at your house that you guys do, you create memories around the holidays. You have lots of fun traditions, especially around Halloween. We do love Halloween at our house, and it is different now that all of our kids are kind of out and about. Um, and we still work to create that same kind of atmosphere, hoping and praying our kids are coming home. <laughs> 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 no pressure, no pressure out there whatsoever. Um, but uh, so we we love it, whether the memory is actually our kids being there or whether the memory is enjoying how much our kids did it as we see other families bringing right. their kids to our house and enjoying that. So we really do do what the whole house and when that's the collective we here yeah. so usually the collective we is taking out the garbage which is my husband <laughs> and uh, still yet the collective we is um getting all the decorations out which scott has just been on top of that yeah uh this year so uh almost all the decorations are out and we will have quite your a yard. yard full yeah yes. uh-huh uh, and I think we will do our kids proud. Cassie especially is a huge um, Halloween fan. fan. And she crafted a series of headstones that are made out of styrofoam. And she painted them all. And she did one for each person in the family based on like their favorite character or their favorite movie. Mm -hmm. And so those go up each those go up each year. So she's not here um, down in St. George, but those are all up for you, honey. So I was going to um, say, is she going to make a, is she and her sweetheart going to make a trip? Probably down? not because they're, they're busy with work there. Right. However, we are excited to be popping over to Vegas to our son. Um, Taylor's coming up from California with his uh Current girlfriend, 
Uh, and uh, <laughs> so we're going to meet them and uh, hoping to create a memory there that is exceeds the girlfriend memory. <laughs> no, no pressure. I don't. I don't. I know nothing <laughs> except hopeful. So anyway, um, looking forward to that. That's you so know, it's fun. it's really. It just really is. I had the opportunity last week to go up to up north, and my brother and his wife flew in from Minnesota, and my other brother drove in from Washington, and we were all together. All seven siblings were together for the first time in really a very, very long time, and we got to spend some time with my mom and then go over and see my dad and um, be together that way and take some pictures with them. And it was just really, it's just really nice when you don't see each other for a really long time and you can feel disconnected. And then the moment you're together, it's, it's like, like you just pick up. Where yeah. You my brother's off. still sitting on all of us like he did before. <laughs> and you know, everything continues the way it was. <laughs> I loved those pictures of you and your siblings. <laughs> And yeah. I can totally see relations mm -hmm. in in the faces of yeah. you know some of you look like some and some yeah. look like the other. It's so yeah. much fun. Yeah, yeah. So oh. yeah, it well, was great. Uh, you need to post some pictures of your yard. We will. We'll do that because yeah. your yard is, you know, it's like the people that deck their yards out for Christmas. And you drive by, you do the drive bys. That's what your house is. As the Halloween yeah. drive by. Yeah. And we'll have plenty of little kids that won't make it to the front door, <laughs> except their parents will bring them because the parents want to come to the front door. So it all works out. Yeah, the yeah. little kids are too scared. A little scared, but that's okay. We'll take the treats out to them. You guys are so much yeah, fun. It's great. Well, that's great. And then will you guys call it an early night on Halloween? Do you usually call it an early night? Do you stay up late? Well, we'll go as long as there's... Trick and treaters. Yeah, as long as there's trick and treaters. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's so much fun. Yeah. We're not big on trick or treating at our house. Well, we haven't had as many um, because down where we're at, mm -hmm. there hasn't. I mean, we're there's a lot more houses now, right. so maybe that'll be more. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. I did have some. Um, I today in my classroom, I have a bowl that is kind of spooky it has hand. candy yes uh-huh yeah the hand. yeah and so it goes off when you take candy out of it so we did that today and the kids um were intrigued <laughs> and so some of them are coming to the house so oh, that's awesome yeah. so we'll that's see them great. there yeah so that'll be awesome i love it our kids ended up well you know our neighborhood is uh more of the Blue hair yeah. type clientele, and I don't mean blue hair like my blue hair. I mean, you know, a different yeah. kind of blue hair. Mm -hmm. So our kids were, you know, one of the few sets of kids in the neighborhood. Yeah. So we always took our kids over to Amy and Blake's neighborhood. Yeah. And the kids trick-or-treated over there. And the, their neighborhood had nine trillion kids. I don't know how much each house spent on candy. But it was a treasure trove of candy. And some yeah. houses did the donuts and some did the spook alleys in their garage mm -hmm. and, you know, all the things. And so the boys grew up with that and loved, loved that. Yeah. We'll always have a few that will drive over and they'll say, we always drive over mm -hmm. um, to visit your, to your visit house. your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we love it. Even if it's just the two of us, we'll still love it. I think that's, I think that's so great. Yeah. I think that's so great. What are some other things that you guys do to create memories? Well, we like to talk about, um, your, talk, talk about your village. Talk about talk about your my, Christmas village. Talk about my Christmas village. Talk about your Christmas village. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I can't think of anything except maybe I don't know my Christmas village. Yeah. That's so um, us, we probably have about 150 Easy. Christmas houses <laughs> Easy. in my Christmas village that we 
uh, put up every year. Um, and as we get older, we start to wonder whether or not it's time for us to move to a little hamlet instead <laughs> of <laughs> instead of living in the village. Right. <laughs> um, but it is um, it is so it is amazing once it's up and uh so we do love that i mean i can't imagine not doing it i think my daughter would be so disappointed right. if i didn't put up the christmas well, village that's, ever that's kind of the the idea is that i'm i'm kind of poking at is the experience that you guys have created with cassie yeah in creating that village because she's been like not only with your yard with the decorating yeah. for halloween but with your village yeah and helping create the structures and yes i say structures as in wooden structures yeah so um because we have so many houses uh cassie actually create constructed um platforms for uh, our houses to go on mm -hmm. and then platforms that build on top of platforms so that we have layers of mountain village yes that's correct yes <laughs> yes um and then there's you know i mean our oldest is older uh, <laughs> older <laughs> and and I, I, the only reason i don't say how old he is is he may not want his age out there so that's the only reason i don't mention it um but we have years and years and years of christmas stockings right. that they've had since they've been kids and it's still their christmas stocking, stocking. you know and um so there are those kinds of just family types of traditions uh, and memories that you cre create together that I hope that our kids will take with them and that they find as memorable, even if they might complain about them. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? They'll reach a point where they won't and they'll appreciate. And I know your kids, I mean, they're older and they've already come to that appreciation. And it's been really fun watching Ethan and Max. Yeah. Um, the last several years, wanting and asking to recreate certain things. Ethan, you know, he has his sweet girlfriend that we love. This will be her third Christmas with us. That, and I can't every believe year, that. Yeah, every year he's he says, we're still going to do X and Y, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And can we do X and Y so Kitty can experience it, Kitty being his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And that... Those, like I said, those yeah. experiences I am just so grateful for. And I look back on my life, too, and experiences with my family. You know, we have um, a certain family recipe <laughs> that comes around only at Thanksgiving and Christmas that was a recipe my grandmother made. And it is something that we have at our Thanksgiving, too. And so, you know, just the connection of memories and experiences that we continue to participate in and add to are just, you know, really, it's what makes all of it okay. Yeah, I think it is what makes all of the other things that you go through in life, the things that sometimes feel difficult and challenging. Or are difficult and challenging. Yes. Yeah that make you remember why those things are worth it. Yeah. You know, they're the things that remind you around what the human experience is really all about. Right. And what to stay focused on. And sometimes I have to really remind myself that the things that I may be giving my energy to and a lot of my energy to are not the really not really the things that ultimately bring me joy. And to step back for a second and say, okay, how much of my time, energy, and resources do I really uh, want to dedicate to this thing, even though it's important to me and right. I'm committed to it, how much of my resources and my time and my energy and all of that do I really want to commit to that versus versus yeah. the things that really bring me joy in my life. And isn't there a way that I can, well, there is a way 
that I can choose to balance that a little bit better for sure than I have. Uh, and so, and the, the same, it's, it's the exact same thing in my classroom. Oh my goodness. Right. It is the exact same question. Right. Where can I lighten up and have a little bit more fun with my kids? Cause that's why I want to be back in the classroom. That's why I went back in the classroom. Right. So why, where am I stressing myself out and probably stressing them out too? And where can I choose to bring some of that? Where, where am I? I am having an epiphany right now in this thinking, classroom. We just had this conversation. I am and having did, an epiphany right now in this around, classroom around what is the memory they're going to take away from right. that? Because that is the lifelong moment that I really want them to have. The rest of it, they're going to get anyway. They're going to get that. They're going to get all of those other things. What is the moment I want them that they might not get anywhere but in my room. Sure. We, yeah, we were just having parts of this conversation yeah. earlier, weren't we? So I'm going to shift my, I'm going to shift my internal dialogue around that and work to create that because the rest will come. The rest will happen. The experiences need to be there. That's right. The Absolutely. Experiences the only thing is there. you can't test for that experience. Honestly. Could so get off my back, everybody else. Right. And, <laughs> <laughs> and no, I'm no longer grading about anything because we're going to learn this through experiences. <laughs> That's right. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, what do you think? You're out there listening. Patty is nodding you, her head. She's thumbs Absolutely. up with it. She is thumbs <laughs> up with it. Oh my gosh. I love hearing about your family experiences. I love hearing about friends and what they do with each other and traditions and how we make memories with those that we love. Yeah. I always like to steal ideas and tweak them and create memories yeah. within our own circle as well. Yeah. And this is definitely the season, isn't it? Yeah. This, this, um, Samhan, which is the winter solstice. It goes from Hallow Moss until um, January, end of January. And it is when these kinds of traditions really come out and are around more because it's darker and it's colder. And that's yeah. what we do is we, we come inside where we spend more time together and we create. Yeah. And I... I do have to say, for as much as I hate winter, I do love what comes inside my house during winter. Yeah. 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 And outside, like in New York City. Yeah. And California, going to see the Grateful Dead. Yeah. Well, travel <laughs> safely and enjoy that for sure. For sure. Yeah. Hey. You guys, thanks so much for coming and hanging out with us today. And we hope that you have special memories and create some happy Halloween create memories. Some fantastic yeah, be experiences. Safe. And uh, we'll see you next week, all three of us. Yep. Tricks yeah. or treats. Bye. Smell my feet. <laughs> not mine. Not mine. <laughs> and I'm not smelling hers either, honestly. I'm not. No. <laughs> happy Halloween, everyone. Thanks for listening to It's a Great Day to Talk. Be sure to follow and subscribe to us on your favorite podcast platform. And until next week, get out there and talk. This has been a production from A Podcast Studio.